So, here's something I've learned about being happy and I'd like to share with you. I don't beat myself up about the things that I haven't done or I shouldn't, I should have done. But rather, I challenge myself about the things that I could still do and many more that I can possibly achieve. Looking back really takes you forward. If you have to look back, look back to take the lessons so that you can always erase the losses that are ahead of you. Some of the things you lost in the past are basically raw materials for the things you are not supposed to lose in future. So some of the mistakes of the past were meant to be able to create you or to be able to change certain things, to be able to edit certain behavior about you so that your losses will not be bigger in future. If you made a mistake while you were 20, if you look back at that mistake, find the lesson, what you could have done better, but you didn't do. That's not to beat yourself about, but rather to find a reason to edit yourself so that the bigger opportunities that are coming ahead of you will be smartly identified and effectively converted. And then you can live a better life. You'll be grateful for the mistakes of the past that didn't mess up your life. And then you'll be much more grateful for the lessons that improved the things you would have gotten. A lot of people got a lot of things so early. They got it very early. They got it fantastic. They got it right very early. And there are a lot of people too who got um, quite a number of things very early but lacked the maturity to manage it. So the celebration is not about your age. Stop getting intimidated about your age. Think about the maturity of managing the things that you have. So there are a lot of times when your strengths could even be the source of what? Your downfall. So the strength that you have that you don't need, be able to identify that. Some people are so committed to a particular thing that they forgot some of the major things that they should have done. So, I don't beat myself about the things I should have done because they are past, but I challenge, about, I challenge myself about the things that I could still do. Right? So, there are opportunities and there are possibilities in your future. The past may have had a lot of goodies, but I tell you, there are better ones ahead. Life is progressive. So all you have to do is behavior optimization. If you just edit your behavior, a lot of good things will still happen to you in that business, in that particular career, and in whatever your vocation is. It doesn't matter what. But the secret to happiness is that Learn from the past. Start small. Learn fast. Grow big. Simple. Never bother yourself about the things that have happened in the past that should have happened. They were meant to happen. They have happened. So what is it that should happen in the future? So bother yourself about the things that should happen in the future. And then you'll be grateful that what those things, the failures of the past, have become the foundations for the fortunes of the future. That's what I thought to share with you this morning. And um, keep it real. Keep working. As long as you keep working, never think that it is in vain. But rather, you are stacking up value that are going to make you not have to run as fast as others will run when you can't run. There are a lot of people that keep are clamor. There are a lot of things people are clamoring about today. That people are in a hurry and in a rush about today. Take your time to understand the principles behind those things and do enough work. If you do enough work now, a time will come where you don't have to do so much work to earn so much. A lot of people are doing very little to earn so much because they have done so much in the past that can make them come to that particular status. So, 
That's about the secret to your happiness this morning. Keep it real.